Hello, hello everyone. Sorry here. Thank you so much for joining me for the release of Kendra Car Challenge 14. It is a new quarter and we are starting with a whole new set of 15 sketches. And for this video, I am going to be focusing on using the Pink and Mean Foilable Mystery Kit Sampler Pack that I received. This is if you are a Patreon member with Kendra Car Challenge and you have all access or VIP, you get one of these once a month. And so I thought it'd be fun to use this up for the intro to Catch Your Car Challenge 14. I will be working on sketch five and six. So I have put the image in the top right hand corner there. And this is a very simple one. Um, because I'm using the mystery pack, I will not be cutting out all of the papers. I'm just going to cut out the pieces that I need for the sketch. And this turned out quite well because Sketch 5 only has one piece from pattern paper. <laughs> As you can see in the indicated there in the, the blue line or the blue block in the sketch. And I'm going to follow the sketch quite closely. I had this nice big thanks sentiment that worked perfectly right in the corner there. And I'm just pulling out dies. I believe these are Concord and Ninth dies with the sprigs. And I'm just kind to kind of just setting up a design here to kind of hug around this big thanks sentiment. And then I pulled out some twine, which I didn't know I had any. <laughs> I just happened to find it. So this works perfectly with using craft cardstock. And I may have to figure out where I can get some more of this um, because it actually looks really smart on when you're when you're tying it with the craft i really like it i really do and so i'm just going to put these little leaves down kind of layering them a little bit just to give it a little organic look to it and then place down my circles now the sketch does show three black circles which indicates that this is a different piece of paper but because i still have quite a bit of this green cardstock left i use the green cardstock the foilable one uh, as my circles as well so it's tying in some more of this green and of course, just to create a little bit of texture to the background of that craft paper off camera, I did run that through with an embossing folder just so that it's not too much solid. I could also have inked it, for example, that would kind of break it up a bit. Love from Lizzie peel off stickers, um, that will also work, but I just went with this approach to keep it nice and clean and simple and just very quick. Uh, so not to add too many bells and whistles. So I really like how this one turned out. And this is card sketch number five. So next I will work on card sketch number six. And this is another very simple one. I've been, I've been actually very lucky that I got some easy sketches for this release. <laughs> and uh, I just need to cut some strips off this and we're going to use the foil paper again. And I decided to tie the polka dot and this purple one together on the same card. So if you look at the sketch there in the top right hand corner, you'll see there's a purple line and a green line. Those are this, the pattern papers that we'll be using. And then all I need to do is figure out the, the light gray and the dark gray. Now I am going to bring in a light color cardstock and I'll show you how I do it the two ways. It, it will look weird while I'm putting it together, but it's because I didn't know which way I wanted to go. So we'll talk about that in a second. I also want to quickly say that this is a prize hop. So there is a chance of winning uh, prizes when you follow along with all the designers. The information will be in the description box below, but you do need to remember that when you're filling out the form with me saying that you watched my video, you need the code word Gina K. Uh, so that is Gina Okay, and the reason for that is just to make sure that someone isn't just skimming through and trying to win prizes that other people are actually watching and enjoying and playing and partaking. So once again, Gina K, when you're filling it out with me. This is just my code word. Every designer will have their own code word. Okay, so as you can see, I have this light purple background. So I'm using that to glue all my pieces down so they're all together. and. What I don't know is if I want to use separate strips to make it all flush or have a little bit of depth in the middle. So that's why I'm kind of measuring out the center where I want to put my piece. Um, but then I decide that the little bit of depth is just kind of annoying me. So I'm going to put those little scraps back in and just have it all flush so everything's nice and flat. So 
Really, I didn't need to use a purple background, but because I didn't know which way I was going to go until I was there, I decided just let's just do purple background and then I'll have some purple strips on the side and then we'll we'll see where we go. So that's that's the logic. <laughs> this is where we ended up. <laughs> so I'm going to keep with the purple theme and I got these balloons from Trinity Stamps. I believe they're still available. It's a sh glimmer shimmer <laughs> hot plate thingy with some dyes. I didn't foil them. I just used the outline die to create these fun little balloons. And then following the sketch with the big circle, I used the same cardstock from the previous card with the same embossing folder to create those little dots that kind of tie in with that pattern paper, the foilable one that you see there that's on the strips. And I'm just propping that up so that everything's nice and flush. And then once again, the cheers I added with the same color as the background and, and one of the balloons. But as I was playing around and I cut all this out, this took a while for me to really figure out what I want to do. I felt that it was too light. I felt I wanted to stand out a little more. So I cut it out again, the cheers sentiment with the darker of the purple and just glued it right over top. Luckily, I had a nice, easy, <laughs> it was being friendly with me and I was able to do it. Now I do have, once again, the option of the light and the dark purple, and I decided to stick with the light purple for the circles to follow that sketch. So that's, that's, the, that's card sketch number six. I kept both of these fairly simple. Now this one's a lot busier than the first one, um, but pretty much it's very simple design. You're just cutting some basic shapes and, and, and gluing them down following the sketch very closely. And I'm very happy with how these turned out and happy to play around with the mystery kit sampler pack <laughs> that you get from being a Patreon member. So I do hope you enjoy this and don't forget to check out everyone else along the hop. They are all doing something different. I don't know what it is and I'm just as excited to see what they create. And we're gonna finish all 15 cards when they're done. And like I said, there are prizes to be won. So look out for those keywords that each designer is going to be sharing, okay? So if you didn't hear mine, then please go back earlier in the video somewhere and you will find what my keyword is. So once again, thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you all later. Take care, bye.